so yeah basically this morning we kind of we um we opened in, in range and balance and we kind of had this very big push higher out of yesterday's range and um kind of, yeah pushed in towards um tuesday's range and then we kind of we sort of balanced if i just split this here like this as you can see we had a very strong push sort of um kind of pulled back and then it sort of we we went sideways um, between these, uh, the 91s, um, the, yeah, the 91s, and then sort of, um, and then we had obviously uh, the BTP and BTS kind of puking in this um, at this moment as well. So for me, what I was going to kind of focus on today was um, so this is obviously the sideways range we, we sort of put into place once having this very strong bit up, um, all in, you know, as the BTP was kind of blowing out, the spread was blowing out. And then we had this sort of push up out of the IB, which I kind of want to focus on, and in particular was this candle here, um, because the area which I was sort of focusing on, of this market was potentially kind of go higher, was you know the double O's. If we were to break double O's, um, it was kind of that swing and that open we had. Um, sorry, that was the 91s. It was just it was a swing here just before the 05s. So I mean, if we were, if we were to break this um, on some good energy and good flows, um, this market could have easily traded. Um, if it was to trade above the O5s, we could have, we could have squeezed quite deep. I feel um, into the sort of the top end of this Monday pro profile, but we didn't. We we kind of we we initially sort of looked quite aggressive um, in energy and price action, but then we we failed, as you can kind of see here for this candle. So what I just want to look at is how we um, yeah, sort of how I manage my risk in here whilst the flows were going on. Um, and then yeah, um, and then kind of where my kind of stop placement was, and, and my idea of how I sort of try to um, get my size away in this area. So let me just quickly bring up the the ladders from this morning. So uh, let me put them up here for you guys. Okay, so on my right here, I have the I have my BTP and my BTS, um, and this is as we approach the 91s, which was sort of my first area of focus. Uh, and the energy here was kind of important. I mean, um, for me, when the market was kind of pushing out of the initial balance, it, I, I mean, it, I, I originally did kind of wanted to buy the 84s, 83s. But when we kind of looked at it, I was just saying, well, I kind of, I should, it, there should be kind of a, a reaction at 91s, um, especially when you have this kind of energy in the market at the same time. So for me, it was a matter of um, saying to myself, okay, right, so we really want to focus in this area. Um, you know, I can see, I identify that. The, the energy in terms of like just the pure volume going through at the 84s was good but the price action wasn't quite um it wasn't very fluid it was quite churny um so i was a little bit kind of cautious as to executing here but i was i was quite convicted on executing through here and as you'll see in a moment we have a very distinct reaction through this area and for me I want, as i'll kind of go on to say in a moment the thing i focused on this morning was kind of just the nature of how the bid was reloading especially after such a strong move up it kind of feels sometimes uncomfortable to now want to continue to buy the market as it's even trading higher um especially you know after we've sold off quite as much as we have recently um and you just notice the, the aggressiveness of of the market and how it bids over 91s 92s 93s and then we had this big clip saying 91s um sat on the bid all whilst the BTP and BTS was 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 um was offering. So for me, as like, because I was kind of very on a, on a reaction here. Um, sorry guys. Um, so yeah, I was kind of very convinced on this reaction here. So for me, it was a matter of um, as long as we kind of had the ninety ones in the short term to be kind of quite willing, quite aggressive to buy this, especially while we had the BTP and BTS puking. And as you sort of see, I eventually, I, I leave my bids in here um, to try and get filled kind of as we flick in. And, and the area which I'm, I'm going to focus on and, and kind of where my stop revolves around is how we sort of trade around these 93s and just the amount of volume which is taken at 93s. Um, both on the bid and the offer in terms of just the actual pure volume traded here was just very high. Um, and it kind of my and and like I've spoken to it a few times before, um, the how how hard I'm finding it to get filled in the bid is kind of playing a part of my mind here, as as to how I want to you know execute, um, because when these kind of flows do come in, like you know quite um, quite uh, it's quite rare at the moment, but when they do come in, it's very sensitive. The market reacts very sensitively. Um, so yeah, absolutely. As as we, as we kind of sit. On the 92s, 93s, 
I was willing to kind of, you know, and uh, how the bids reloaded is very important. So how it notes that how how it's so hard for us to even down tick, you know, the actual size trading the bid, um, and it, the instant kind of uptick, you know, kind of clips going into ninety twos. Um, I just wanted to see, I just wanted to basically see the market hold firm on ninety ones, whilst this big bid is sitting here. Especially, I mean. Um, for me, I was kind of looking. I mean, it shouldn't really trade back below 90s, 89s, but um, it was all about how the market was wasn't even willing to trade these 91s. Um, the kind of the, but yet the the willingness to kind of always reload the bid and the nature of which it did reload the bid. Um, I was quite willing to stack this area with a very tight risk in this in this area. So yeah, that's the kind of thing. Um, and as you sort of see, I'm just sort of feeding my clip in, feeding my clip in, and, and as we, once we pop this high, I believe we do that in a moment. You notice again how the kind of BTP now starts to extend its lows, and just notice the, the kind of the aggressiveness into these highs. Um, the energy in which we trade into the highs, I think, is kind of important. When we do pull back, it's very important to kind of it's very important to kind of remember the kind of the the way we trade into 93s, and again, just notice the churn on 93s. Um, and it kind of comes back, and the, the actual size hitting the bid is so small. Um, but the kind of the passive, you know, the actual person who's willing to sit on the bid here, the actual liquidity in this market is, is so high, especially when you have to kind of remember the context of us, how much we've sold off. We now have this sort of spread blowing out, and just this type of energy, which when you see it like this, um, you can kind of get away a lot of size with very small risk and kind of just sort of feed it in, feed it in, feed it in. And as the market comes back and retests these areas, um, it will give you opportunity to help buy more. So. Um, let me just kind of speed this up for you a little bit, guys, so we can kind of, because um, we kind of churned this range for a little bit, but the, you know, as you can kind of see, the actual size trade of the 94s is significantly larger than anything um, that we traded here around us. And um, I kind of stopped before it was around these 93s, and you see how kind of quickly it, it, it works. Um, so in the market, actually, we eventually trade up to 99s, I believe. We fail, and then we come back below 93s. And we start having actually selling below these 93s, 92s, 91s. Um, so I instantly want to get out of my position here. I mean, you're literally taking a tick's worth of risk, um, especially you now you're bearing in mind how much buying has gone up at these higher prices here. You know, so much buying has gone on up here. So much buying has gone up up here at these higher prices. So the minute the market kind of then fails to hold these 93s, then someone actually starts selling size into 92s, 91s, my whole kind of bias in this market shifts. Um, and you'll see that you know, this is all once we failed at 99s at the double O's. Um, if we were to break the double O's, I was expecting quite a you know a powerful move, but we didn't rev that in the end. So, um, you know, again, sort of have BTP, BTS kind of you know off my screen here, um, offering really hard. Still, in the energy in the market here to kind of reload is, um, it's still there. It's still type of look, the same type of liquidity. Um, yeah, it's just, you know it kind of it won't down tick. No one's there. They're kind of willing to um, actually sell you know sell in the market kind of aggressively. So. Um, yeah, I think my kind of stop revolves around 92s, 91s right now, guys, still. And I'm constantly, yeah, like I say, all these 90, the 93s is what I'm really focusing on here. And, and just like the, the, the unwillingness to kind of trade into 92s, 91s is, is, is very is significant for me, I feel. So I believe we do put this high eventually. And for me, like when it's when it's kind of sitting there, churn like this, the thing I just want to focus on, okay, right, is that actually is the volume kind of more, is it more of a not, is it kind of higher than usual, you know, than than recently? Is it is it not, um, you know, despite it kind of being uncomfortable and not necessarily feeling like it's flowing that much, you know, okay, well, what is actually going? There's like extreme high volume churn at this extreme in front of a big level, whilst you have the kind of, these kind of periphery markets blowing out. Um, so this was kind of how I was kind of managing myself, just trying to time it as a and kind of fill in, um, fill in passively as we kind of wanted to, you know, potentially push higher, following the BTPs. Again, kind of my stop is very much below 93s here, guys. Very tight risk, um, but the amount of volume we've traded these 93s, you wouldn't want to see the market sort of anywhere. You know, the minute we actually actually start to see the significant clips hitting to 92s, 91s, then you kind of have to, you know knowing as to how much volume sort of traded above this price here and at this price that you've got to be very wary of this market you know kind of offering um as you see the, the double the 99s double o's is kind of what well, the double o's sorry is where we were focusing sorry guys 
Um, sorry about that, guys. There's just something coming out there. Um, so yeah, as you kind of see here, I was looking to kind of um, for the break of the, the double O's. I was looking for the break of those double O's, and when we sort of start to fail and churn up here, my, I always kind of think it's something which I've kind of sort of been taught to think of in terms of it's like you know w once this market fails here and upticks and starts to show this sort of sign of slowing you know your risk reward between here and it coming all the way back it kind of goes from you know you're risking a tick basically to see if it breaks these double o's um to potentially give up you know f six seven ticks um in at this time so i kind of start to scale out my position and lighten up even though the BTP is, is doing what it is, uh, what it's doing, I do feel that okay, if it's going to break 99s, I believe it's going to get a swift move through 95s. Um, but I don't want to be leaving you know, loads of profit on the table if it does come back. And as you see here, all the bids start to get pulled, the, the high and whole nature of the book changes slightly, um, and the BTP bounces um, in the same time. And it kind of feels like the rug's kind of being pulled out from underneath you in terms of this year how it's trading, all these bids are being pulled. Now all of a sudden no no one not killing an offer with size. It's it's all much very kind of weak um weak hands here in terms of like kind of pulling bids as opposed to the market actually really trading. But once you you'll notice how kind of distinct it is once we do go under ninety threes and we start selling under ninety threes. Uh the nature of how, you know, it kind of then we sort of it actually does put in a top. So I mean, I was kind of being a little bit greedy here, I suppose, and trying to get out for you know, and you can kind of see again the nature of how hard it is for me to get filled um, on the offer is a testament to what's kind of going on in terms of the quality now being pulled in the bid. So and it's very much stacked on the offer here. So you know, as you'll just see, I'd want you just guys quickly see how we trade below these ninety threes. Again, it, you know, completely changed in terms of nature. You know, you went offered ninety three straight away. And now we start seeing clips into 92s and we instantly sort of start to go off. And so for me, it was a matter of just trying to get out of this position. Um, I believe we trade back up to 95s. Um, but this is kind of, this, this isn't the type of reaction you want to see. You know, you've got all this volume, all this buying sitting above here. I was just a matter of me trying to get out now. Um, and not sort of panic and just say, right, okay, um, you know, this is just, th this was the trade. Um, I don't want to be kind of caught long here taking a massive loser when I was only trying to look for that kind of aggressive breakup trade um, through the highs. So, yeah, and as everything kind of bounced from the correlation sort of die off, it was just kind of me important just to um, pay down. And I believe that, you know, we we do go on to leave that as the high, if I'll show you here. So, I mean, the high then was after that was 95s we kind of traded up to. So, we had this. we had this deep pullback all the way down to 87s and then sort of, yeah, went sideways before rolling over. So, this is just kind of what I was worried about um, at the time, and, and yeah, that's, that's what we got. But um, yeah, I just thought that'd be kind of useful, guys, especially you know this morning. Um, so when these flows do come in, it it can be quite tricky to um, it can be quite tricky sometimes to manage risk, especially when it's you know really volatile. Um, 